right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name is Chuck, it's Cruz Walt with Simply Vegas, licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I'm here in the city of Las Vegas on the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. And today we're gonna be touring this brand new builder that I've never toured in my entire life. I don't know why, but um, Signature is the name of the company. The Dream Builder. So today I'm here in the community called Bluemont Trails. Now Bluemont Trails actually has a total of 40 lots. Now, there's only five lots left. However, they are building another one right down the road from here. So we talked about this. You always wanna be in the first phase. So they have four different models to choose from. So today we are gonna to be touring the Sonora. And this one is 2,500 and 55 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, loft, living room, dining room, den, with a two car garage. Base price on here, $534,990. So let's take a look, let's see what we got here. We got terracotta, paper stones. You have an eight foot garage door, and I believe that actually comes standard, which is a plus. Now on the exterior of the home right here, this literally reminds me of a KB home. Now, when you're purchasing a home like this, right, you got to take a look at the elevation. When we talk about elevation, it's the exterior of the home. That one doesn't have a brick. This one has bricks. So you will probably have to pay for that. So let's go inside. Let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. There's a couple uh, features and options that you can pick and choose from here. Now, homes in here, the models, they go from 1,800 square feet to uh, 500 and I'm sorry, 255 thousand five hundred fifty five thousand there you go now what i like about this it's more of an open floor plan as you can see you have this nice staircase leading all the way up to the loft however we'll talk about that in just a second because you do have some options that you can change now as i come in i feel very warm and inviting as you can see we have a a 12 by 24 on the tile with a six inch stagger here it looks like you need to find out what the manufacturer specs are on these tiles because if you go 12 by 12 you can literally probably break the tile now typically when they lay the tile believe it or not they have this product on the concrete first well they'll they'll etch the concrete and what they'll do is i forget the name of it but it's a certain type of glue because what happens is the concrete will expand and contract but there's like a rubber glue that goes on top of that concrete so that way it doesn't crack your tile but obviously the tile has to be floated correctly too as well we talked about straight edge on the tile and this one's on a bull nose now here's the thing if you're buying a home like this you probably want to go ahead and do more of a rounded tile because you can never square it up uh, it takes a work of art but you got to understand that these builders have these trades unless you're building your own custom home that's completely different so just be aware of that how do you tell especially if you're doing a straight edge on these high-end custom homes just a quick tip just take a quarter slide it across the room if it starts catching that means the tile and whoever laid the tile is not floating the tile correctly also when you're ordering this tile just a quick tip here i just wanted to share with you before we continue our tour is that the batches are made different so you may have a batch where they're making you know a hundred thousand tiles and it's all baked in the same uh, oven right next thing you know it the second batch is it's, there's a di discoloration so what i mean by that is a lot of times with these contracts that you'll sign it clearly states that the materials that you see may not look exactly the same so be aware of that now if you run across that issue just give me a call i'll show you how to uh, overcome those objections and uh, possibly get you a credit back okay so a couple things here you can one i believe extend this all the way out to have a larger living room or you could do this covered patio here i kind of like this because it for me it just feels like warm cozy Okay. Now you also get eight, no, I'm sorry. You also get nine foot ceilings on this one standard. Some of these builders you'll actually have to pay, but that's one of the benefits here. I don't know if I told you the price, but the price on here, the base price is $534,990. Looks like we have some uh, Petrophenia here. Okay. This is a one inch face. Now standard, I believe you get the white cabinets as I was told. You get the touch Moen faucet this is dual basin sink so you have some options here ok 
cabinets. We have a 42 upper cabinets. This home right here, this builder reminds me cross between Century Homes and also KB Homes. Definitely like this uh, backsplash here. Gorgeous in the backsplash. Looks like my battery's about to die. That's the thing about these new GoPro 10s. They don't last that long. On this one, we have orange peel texture. You got a two inches on the casing. As you can see, they're actually different colors. Now, typically when you do the painting on here, the casings and the baseboards are pretty much all the same colors and the doors too as well. I'm gonna flip this bad boy back around. I'm gonna get you guys dizzy here. I believe on this one, you can also do a cook countertop too as well. You got the additional slide, six foot slide. I'll take you guys out to the back. Let's see what we have in the back here. Your standard vinyl slides. Pretty uh, decent size uh, backyard. This cover patio or this lattice you're gonna have to add. I can already tell you with this builder, you definitely have a lot of options that uh, you can pick and choose from, especially at this price point, which is actually a pretty impressive because um, normally a lot of the builders at this price point, you don't really have that much uh, selections and options. However, with materials and supplies, these things can also run out too as well. This uh, future wall, this is something that you guys can do later on. HOAs here are about uh, $65 a month, which is I don't think is bad at all. Now let's go take a look here. We got this banner. So we got a bedroom downstairs, which is, this is perfect for like guests. And I mean, this is a pretty decent size bedroom. I mean, this is probably 11 by 12. And when you guys come on out here, just uh, make sure that um, you let them know you're coming out here because you've seen our videos, right? Because I definitely would love the opportunity to represent you. So here's your smart panel box here. So pretty interesting. One thing that we need to take a look at, do we have the Smurf tube? So this one does not have the Smurf tube to the D mark. So fiber optics, if uh, ever come out here. I love this uh, three quarter shower here with that little bench. I definitely would raise the, the cabinets here for sure. These are just a uh, half inches on the countertops. Looks like you have an option for an alarm system for the windows as well. Let me know what your thoughts are about the audio of this. If you guys are liking the audio. Here's the uh, two car garage. Remember you got an eight foot. Oh, love this herringbone pattern here. This should just be a pedestal sink. And I love the fact that you got a window here too. All right, let's go upstairs. So we got this custom banner that they made. Okay, you definitely need to do this whole custom banner. Now keep in mind, you may only have an option just to do a pony wall here, pony wall here, right? So there may be certain sections typically what happens is if you do your upgrade from the pony wall to this banister, that's one section, this is one section, this is another section. So what I'm saying is that there's multiple costs. Now, um, they were saying that uh, you do have an option uh, in lieu of, I think the loft you can get in another bedroom, I think. And the bedroom downstairs was supposed to be like a den or like a flex space. But I think I like this layout better where you have the loft here, two bedrooms here, then you got your primary there, open floor plan concept, right? Then for your guests, you have that junior suite, which is perfect, I do like that. Nine foot ceilings here, eight foot on the doors. You got the orange peel texture. Now one thing that you need to check is your one in one, your cat six and all of your coax here which, you know, builders will charge you anywhere from 250 to 350, just depending on the builder. So you may be getting a discount, you know, somewhere, or 
on a certain item, but they're charging you more on a different item. So it's going to be all case by case uh, with these builders, right? And also, depending if they can even get stuff. Just a standard. Oh, what do we have here? Is this a... Oh, it's a transfer duck. And it spits it out here. So it looks like we have two transfer ducts for this room too here. So all the hot air gets sucked out there, gets pulled back into your air conditioning unit. So again, we have lower cabinets here. I prefer the 36 uh, vanity. All right, not bad. Wow, I love this loft area. Let's take a look at the laundry room. Now, I've never worked with this builder, however, um, we do have contracts with this builder right now with the team, so. And right now, these builders are literally just giving away everything. So that gives me a lot of the negotiating power nowadays. Wow, this gimbal is looking smooth. Oh, I love this uh, wallpaper there. It's kind of cool, very retro, very large. This is a very large primary bedroom. So, we have a king size bed. I'm going to walk this out here. I'm going to see how many feet this is. So, it looks like we have a thermostat. I should have checked if we have two air conditioning units or finding out if it's uh, dual zone or single zone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, it's about 15 feet here, looks like, or maybe even more. Let's take a look at this bathroom. So, it looks like they did. A spa type. This is definitely an upgrade. Oh, they turned off the, the water here. Now, another thing just to keep in mind that sometimes what happens is if this gets clogged on this T right here, you may just want to open this up from here and here, pull this out. Sometimes you can have hair stuck in here, you just clean that out and you should uh, be completely fine. However, just make sure to put a bucket. The reason why this is called a T-trap is when the water runs here, water's leveled from here, so that way the gas doesn't come through here and you get that stink doo-doo smell, right? So that's the reason why they actually do that. Also, we have our hot and cold, uh, our supply line, okay? You'll have this at uh, every uh, faucet, hot and cold, that you can just turn off. Now, another thing I want you to take a take a look at, okay? Like on this home, I noticed there's no sprinkler system. So it tells me it's not to code. If there was a sprinkler system, you need to make sure that sprinkler system is actually connected to your primary toilet. So that way, every time you flush, you cycle out the old water is just sitting there, okay? Attic access, decent size for this uh, closet. So we have our water closet here. Definitely gives you enough elbow room. I'm gonna come back over here. Not too sure if there's supposed to be a door here or or something, unless this is all open. I don't know if I like this open, so that means you have to keep your stuff all nice and clean and tight, or if they have like a um, bifold door here. But let's take a look at the quality. All right, what I just realized about this camera is shooting at 4K, the camera just gets a little bit too hot and will automatically shut off. So I do apologize about that. So we have some nice cladding here. And uh, this has a nice texture to it, which is really nice. Love the fact that they have this option. But however, we know with these some of these new home builders, some of the options that you see here, we may not even have. But as far as attention to detail, I love this um, schluter here that they added on each side. That just lets you know the attention to detail. They also did it here too as well. But that's something that you just need to double check. Are they adding Schluters? And what are the color options that you have when you design and build your home? Let's take a look here. Nice. Now that's pretty much it for this uh, video home tour. 
If you guys haven't had a chance to uh, subscribe to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, now we are working and doing a lot of collaborations with a lot of builders out here. And uh, if you are a agent or title company, title rep, we are looking for uh, sponsors. Okay, we've already got a couple sponsors now for our commercial. As for the LV Home Experts Radio Show or podcast, whatever you want to call it, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.